Hey, I can roar louder than you. Roar! Oh, yeah? Well, I can roar louder than you. Roar! Oh, yeah? Well, take this. Roar! Hey, wait a minute. Instead of fighting, maybe we should be friends. Huh. I like that idea. You want to go play a game? Yeah, let's go. After you. Why, thank you. Da, 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 da. Huh. Well, that's enough conflict resolution practice for me today. I wonder what time it is. Ooh. Lunch! My favorite meal between breakfast and dinner. <gasps> the pizza sandwich. <sighs> Two of my favorite things in one easy to eat package. <laughs> Oh, nothing could possibly interrupt this perfect lunch now. At the door. Could be knocking on the door with my lunch. Maybe AJ will get it for me. Hey, AJ! Someone's at the door! Maybe you can't hear me in the face. Hey, AJ! Someone's at the door! I can't get it because I'm not here! <laughs> you might know that's not true. Wait a minute. Maybe it's a pizza delivery. Oh. I must be seeing things. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go here and open up this closet and see that there's absolutely no raptor inside. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Looks like we have ourselves a situation. Okay, well, I better find AJ and get out of here and then warn him. No, I better get out of here and find AJ and then warn him. Get him as we're safe. Of course, I have him. We'll save her out on the ranch and then I'll let go of him. <laughs> this is not good. The T Rex is looking at me like I look at my pizza sandwich. Which, by the way, I have yet to eat. In fact, who does that T-Rex think she is interrupting my lunch like that? You know what? I want to give her a piece of my mind. In fact, that's just what I'm going to do. You know, Miss T-Rex, you are interrupting my lunch. Okay, not as sympathetic as I had hoped. I got to tell AJ that we're being surrounded by fierce predators. Oh, but my walkie's over there. Okay, what's I gotta do is stretch to get it? Well, hold the door. I can use a little help. Poor great AJ, I'm so glad you're here. Hand me my walkie talkie. This way I can get a hold of. You? How can I help, Park Ranger Andy? Well, first of all, there's a very rude T-Rex on the other side of this door, and I think she's trying to get inside. I believe you, but that doesn't sound like typical T-Rex behavior. So, let me take a look. <laughs> I got you good. There's no T-Rex there. Well, there probably is one out there somewhere, because we're a T-Rex branch. Oh, maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me because I haven't had my lunch yet. Is that all you had to tell me? No, there's one very big bit of information that you need to know. There's a raptor in that closet. <laughs> okay, you must be cranky because that is ridiculous. Wait, cranky? Crazy and hungry. <laughs> That's a good one.
one. But I'm not, I'm telling you, I was sitting right here, I was eating my lunch, and there was a knock on the door, and then the door opened, and a raptor ran in, and it locked itself in the closet. Ranger Andy, I know there is a raptor in that closet. There is, there is. Nonsense. I'm gonna open this door and prove to you that there's nothing except a bunch of gadgets and blasters. It's got one of our gadgets! Why is there a raptor in the closet? Well, that brings me back to my original point. I think she's being chased. Chased? By who? Oh, well, this is a real pickle. You can say that again. You're not going to say that again, are you? No, because while it would be hilariously hilarious, I think we need to focus on the problem at hand. How do we get the raptor out of the closet? Hmm. Oh, I got it, I got it, we could... Uh, I know, we could... Oh, that won't work. Well, we could... No, I got it! Wait! No, we don't have enough marshmallows! Oh, it's no use! I can't think with all this noise! Wait, but there's no noise. Oh, but then I can't think with all this silence! Exactly! I don't hear the T-Rex! Did you go away? I don't know. To the window! <gasps> Look! The T-Rex! Behind that door! Yeah, but wait a minute. Where's she going? Oh, look, she found another raptor. Uh oh, I think that raptor is about to get eaten up. Or tapped on the head? I don't understand what's happening. I got it! The T Rex and the raptors are playing hide and seek. That's why he ran into the closet. He's hiding. What an interestingly weird theory. You got a better one? Nope. That's what I thought. Now, all we have to do is shove this raptor where the closet raptor is hiding. And voila! Problem solved. Watch and learn. You who, Mrs. Raptor! Looking for someone? I think this is a good idea. Oh, please. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy, and you gave him up! He's going to be mad at you! Girl, see, I told you! What do we do? He thinks he's it, so he's coming for the ten! We should hide! Yeah! Where to hide? Where to hide? No! We better hurry! She's almost done counting! No one would think to hide in the spot they just got caught in! Good idea! Wait a minute! We're gonna need this! You think he's still out there? No idea. And there's no way in no one when he'll leave. Well, this is a real pickle. You could say that again. Fine. This is a real pickle. <laughs> you see how funny that was? I think I'll take my chances with the raptors. No, don't! <laughs> I don't think that's one of ours! That's because we're not in T-Rex Ranch! Where are we? We're at the Harupa Mountains Discovery Center! I bet there's more dinos inside! Let's, Let's go, go discover! discover! Hey, AJ, are you familiar with the legend of the Harupa Mountain Mammoth? No, what is it? They say a mammoth named Eddie guards this very valley. 
and brings luck to anyone who finds them. Should we go look? Yeah! Yeah, let's go! Dino challenge, which one? Oh, please, my ceratops. What's this one? Pterodactyl or Pteranodon. Looks like he had a rough night. Dimetrodon. Ankylosaurus. Pretty good. Taurosaurus. Triceratops. Pachyrhinosaurus. Impressed. Camelosaurus. Camelosaurus? That doesn't seem right. Sounds Greek. Not a Greek dinosaur. Hey, you know, AJ, if we're gonna look for Eddie, we need to know what to look for. Good point. Hmm. Maybe that guy will help us. Oh yeah, he looks smart. Let's go. Hi, I'm Park Ranger AJ. Nice to meet you. Park Ranger Andy. Hello, I'm Dino Dave. Dino Dave? That's our kind of guy. Yeah. Welcome to the Hurupa Mountains Discovery Center. Right now, we're in front of our Earth Science Museum. Inside, we have some fossils through time. You guys excited to see some fossils? Yeah! yeah. Well, let's go. Great. Whoa. Look at all this stuff. I don't know where to begin. I do. Follow me. So let's begin in the depths of our ocean. Here, on to your right, we have ammonites. They were these squids that lived inside these shells. Now they lived amongst, well, fish and other aquatic life, like you see here on our fish wall. Cool! Stuck in the Green River formation, within these sediment layers, we can uncover a lot of evidence of these living organisms. How do you find fossils? Well, you just gotta survey the land and dig throughout the sediment layers and be extra careful. Fossils are very fragile. So these are found on land where the oceans used to be? Either used to be or were pushed onto land. What, what's that? Well, that is a head of a fish that grew up 20 to 25 feet long. <gasps> Eat the find that in a swimming pool. <gasps> Welcome to the Botanical Gardens. Good point. Now here we have the California Choya, also known as the jumping cactus. Whoa. Tell us about it. Well, these little barbs are so hooked at a microscopic level that even a tiny brush could just really hook into you. Okay. I'm gonna back away now. Oh, well, we guess we saw the cactuses, right? Good idea. And we have things that are more terrestrial, things that kind of like to walk their way onto land. Is that a turtle? That is. This is a protostega. It's kind of like an aquatic sea turtle, or an ancient kind, if you want to think of it that way. Kind of neat, huh? Well, you can find all sorts of remains of living critters, like... Oh, what's that? Oh, that there, that's dinosaur poop. Fossilized dino poop? Ew! Yes, fossilized poop. You know, you can find a lot of information about dinosaur poop. Usually the color in the fossilized poop can tell you if it's a protein diet or a plant diet. How do you tell that? Well, we know that meat's kind of red with iron. Well, if you look into the copper light here or the fossilized poop, you can see a little bit of red going on. So a lot of these are remains of carnivorous dinosaurs. How are fossils formed? When organic matter is buried and protected underneath the sediment layers, the minerals in the surrounding sediment kind of seep in with the help of water. So as the organic material leaves its body and gets recycled into the environment, the minerals take its place. What's this thing? Well, that kind of looks like a cluster of raptor and bone. Paleontologists have to dig out each digit and each bone very carefully in order to well, showcase it here in a museum. Cool. Yeah, 
Uh, here's Protoceratops stuck within its matrix. We can lean on over to a meat-eating dinosaur, such an Allosaurus, a three-claw predator. We're familiar. <laughs> this is cool. And this is our Allosaurus. Oh, I don't see it. Well, you gotta dig for it. Dig, dig for, for it? it? Yes, dig for it. Under this sand, we speculate there's an entire Allosaurus skeleton. We're gonna uncover it using these tools. These teeth belong to an Allosaurus. Whoa, I think we found the head. As long as you keep pulling towards you, we can uncover large bodies of it. Did you find something, AJ? Yeah. Looks like we found some ribs over here. Oh, good, I'm starving. The Park Ranger AJ, what do you think this is? I don't know, maybe the hip? Come check it out. Must be legs. I think you're right, Park Ranger AJ. You gotta I think uncover you're right. it. I found another part of the rib cage. Well done, Park Ranger AJ. Thanks, Park Ranger Andy. Oh, another oh. piece. There's a lot here. Another. Sure does look like an Allosaurus we know. Very gentle when you're getting this close, huh? Yeah. This is the most fun I've had in a long time. I love discovering things. Woo! Success! Success! Well, actually, we're only about 25% done here. 25%? What would be at least a quarter done? And leading out of the dinosaur era, we get the Pleistocene or the Ice Age era, the rise of mammals, like this cave bear, for example. And we have mastodons, or Columbian and woolly mammoths. Here is a tusk we found here in the Harupa Valley. Marvelous thing, very splintery, but as you can see, still preserved within the cast mold in which it was dug. The Columbian mammoth, most notable here, is called Edward. And this is Edward's tusk. Now, Edward is a Colombian species, so he traveled all the way North America, all the way down here to the Harupa Valley. So they roam this very valley? Yes. And if you keep your eyes peeled, you might just see one here at the Discovery Center. <gasps> that old Dave said if we look hard enough, we can find a mammoth. Well, then we gotta look harder. Yeah. Park Ranger AJ! Park Ranger AJ! Where is that kid? So, uh, what do you know about mammoths, AJ? Well, I know they're the ancestors of elephants, and they're two stories tall, and that's all I know. Eh, it's good enough for now. What's that in the background? Look! A mammoth! Is that the mammoth? Let's go see! We made it! There he is, Eddie the Columbian Mammoth! Awesome! For a pretty awesome day. You said it. Well, I guess this is the end. <laughs> no, this is the end. Arr, arr. <laughs> Name this one, Park Ranger. All right, you 
got me. Abraham Lincoln is so horrid. I don't see it. Okay, park ranger AJ, what do you think the biggest animal that's ever lived on a planet is? Do you think it's like a giant monkey or some kind of enormous blue-tailed squirrel? Probably a dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Like which kind? Hmm. Maybe the Brachiosaurus? Could be. And that's what we're here today to find out. The biggest animal in the world? That's right. Why in the forest? This is not just any forest. This is the brrrr. The prehistoric forest. Well, that's convenient. I thought so. Go figure it out. <laughs> yep, the Stegosaurus. This dinosaur could be it. Yeah, he's pretty big. 30 feet long, 11,000 pounds. Ah, huh, but I don't know. Still might be other contenders out there. Yeah. Chud! Who's that? Hey? You talk dino? <laughs> He's pretty big. Parasaurolophus. <laughs> It can grow to be up to 33 feet long. That's three feet bigger than the other dino. Huh. So, so far, this is the winner. Yeah. You know, this is a member of that duck-billed dino family. I wonder if he speaks duck. <laughs> Nothing. All right, I bet there's bigger ones out there. Let's go see. Chud. 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 You plow cephalus. Oh, yeah. Now, look, this is no bigger than the other dinos. But here's an interesting fact that these guys were so well protected that even the eyelids had on. Well, I guess he's getting some pretty good shut eye. Wish I had thought of that joke. Judge! Judge! Do you hear that? Judge! Yeah, I did. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. It's Chad. Oh. Alright. Good chat. Triceratops! Oh yeah! Now we know these. We got a bunch of them on my T-Rex range. Now they're not the biggest, but they're certainly the heaviest. And the cutest. Look at him. Oh yeah, he's certainly not the biggest. Paleontologists say these guys were the cows of the Cretaceous period. The cows? Don't do it. Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> he did it. Judge! Did you hear that? Did you? Yeah. Again. Maybe someone or something, something is trying to tell us something. Maybe Chad is what we're looking for. Maybe you're right. Well, let's keep looking. You didn't like the move? You should have told the other joke. Tyrannosaurus Rex! The king of the dinos. This could be it. I mean, it gets to be 40 feet long and 20 feet high. It weighs as much as four pickup trucks. This could be Chad. Yes, no, Chad. Oh, not Chad. How's it possible? What is Chad? Where is Chad? Who is Chad? By hook and by crook, we're going to go find out. Yeah. Excuse me, do you know what Chad is? Thanks anyway. Excuse me, miss. Do you know where Chad is? Thank you very much.
is Chad? A whale? That's the largest animal ever. Wow! Wait, but what about the Mesosaurus from Jurassic World? Well, that's not a dinosaur. That's a marine reptile. And that only grew up to be 50 feet long. Well, what about the Megalodon? Which is actually a shark. And that got up to be only 59 feet long. So this thing is twice as large. Holy cow! Yeah, I don't understand why it's so blue. Cheer up, you're so big. A hundred feet long. What? Wait a minute, it says he's got a hundred feet. I don't see any feet. He's a hundred feet long. Oh, well, that makes more sense. It says here its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant. Its tongue can weigh as much as an elephant? That's humongous, it's gonna be so heavy. So this is it? The biggest animal that's ever lived? And this is a small one, look. It's from a juvenile male. This is only 72 feet long compared to what it could be. It's not even fully grown. But they got one thing right. This is astonishing in every way. Wow. Chad, you've been calling us. We're so happy to find the answer to the largest animal on Earth. Yeah. Wait a minute. It says one of the loudest animals on Earth. Huh. I bet I could be louder. louder, 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 louder. Check it out, Parker and JJ. Whoa, Brachiosaurus! And it's a Rhinodon! Parker and Drainy, check it out! They're backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to warn you! The Tigridon almost flew right up my nose! I don't like the way it's looking at us. Maybe we should go hide. Maybe she's hungry. Phew, that was a close one. Yeah, you're telling me. I don't feel like having bacon and eggs. You? Didn't you bring some food in your backpack? Oh yeah, good point. The cushion. <laughs> Rubber chicken? Maybe we can make rubber chicken nuggets. I don't think that's how it works. <gasps> Trail mix. The most boring of all the mixes. Wait, all the M&Ms are gone. Uh, no time to answer. It sounds like we have an emergency. Thank goodness. Oh no! A Spinosaurus is loose in Herbert Valley! And it's heading towards the Stegosaurus! Spinosaurus and a Stegosaurus. That's a bad combination. Like... Like peanut butter and chocolate. That's not terrible. You didn't let me finish. And anchovies. Oh yeah, you're right. We gotta save the Stego Park Ranger, Andy. To the T-Rex one. There's gotta be something in here that can help that poor Stego. Oh wait a minute. Here we go. This will help. Old oh, French fries. How will that help? It might not help the Stego, but it's gonna help me. I'm starving. Invisibility cloak! Good thinking! We've got the rainbow ray and the shrink ray blaster. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Absolutely! What? Why? You never know when you're gonna need it. You never know. Let's go save a Stegosaurus! the plan. I think we should split up the cover more ground. I will go find the Spino and you go
go steal the Stego away. Sounds like an easy plan where nothing could go wrong. Indubitable. seems to be really far away. Where's my phone's at right now? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, it wasn't what I thought it was. Crudger <laughs> AJ. I got eyes on a spinal right now. It is much better than I remember. Park Ranger Andy, you've got to get the spino out of there. The Stegosaurus is on the move and heading your way. Okay. Andy, over and out. All right, I know this is going to be hard, but think, Andy, think. We've got to get you home, Mr. or Mrs. Stegosaurus. There's a spino on the loose. Oh no! Shrimp Ray! If I've got the Shrimp Ray, that means Park Ranger Andy's got the... Rainbow Ray? What am I going to do with this? Wait a minute. AJ? This isn't my bag. Gotta be something in here I can use. <gasps> the invisibility cloak. Uh, 
I think that was our last chance. I got this. Prepare to eat something! Park Ranger, H.A. Eh, now what we gotta do is get into the backpack. Ah. <laughs> well, maybe not. You never know when you might need it. Oh. Hang on, Park Ranger Andy, I got this. But the whoopee cushion's in my back. No, oh, you don't say. Anyway, let's get this feisty little guy out of here. And then I think it's lunchtime. Oh, got you covered. Somebody left a bunch of perfectly good fries on the ground. Huh? Come on, I wonder if I... Park Ranger AJ! Oh! There you are! Ha! I've been looking all over for you. And I've been looking for the missing Stegosaurus. Whoa, what happened to you? Oh, this. Well, see that Brachiosaurus down the way? Yeah. Well, he didn't see me before I knew it. Splat! He stepped on you? Yeah, but only for a few minutes. And you should see it. There's a park ranger Andy shaped hole in the ground. And thus ends another adventurous day at T-Rex Ranch. And the day just started. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. Oh, good point. I'll fix that. Breakfast for two? Where did you get those? I gotta hand it to you. Oatmeal was the best decision for breakfast. Oh, I'm telling you, boy. Everybody loves oatmeal. Be careful, though, because it's hot. It better cool quick. I'm worried about that missing stego. Uh, well, you should worry more about your stomach growling than the stegosaurus. You should eat up. That wasn't me. I think that's your stomach growling, not mine. Wait, that's not the sound of a stomach growling. That's the sound of a sick dino. <gasps> the sound of a sick stegosaurus, to be exact. <gasps> Get a T-Rex one. Dino first aid kit ready to go. Dr. Dino Doctor, at your service. Now, let's see what we got. Oh, 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 oh that's not it. Hey, what's that? Oh. Oh, 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 There it is. Stegosaurus mess. That is one big pill. For one big, sick stegosaurus. Let's go. Dino Doctor, potentially very dangerous. You have to be quiet. Quiet. I could be quiet. I could be super quiet. In fact, I could be the most quiet per- The Stegosaurus! It's coming from over there. From inside the raptor paddock. Hmm. That's uh, unfortunate. What do we do now? Well, you know the motto of a Dino Doctor. Through rain or sleet or snow, when duty calls, we must go. I think that's the moon. Huh, agree to disagree. Let's go. Coast is clear. Shh, quiet back there. Shh, quiet back there. Thank <laughs> you.
There she is! She looks so sick! How are we gonna get her to eat this giant pill? No sweat. It is gonna be smooth sailing from here on out. Ah! Uh, okay, I was wrong. We're in trouble. <laughs> so is that Stegosaurus if the T Rex doesn't move? What do we do? Not today, Mr. T Rex. We're only here to help our six Stega friend, and you're making our job very difficult. Now, if you don't mind, please get up on time so we can do our job. Thank you very much. Oh, wow, can't believe that works. Huh, me neither. I thought for sure you were going to end up in that T-Rex's gullet. Let's go get that dino her mess. Indubitably. How are you going to get her to eat it? A little demonstration. Watch. Okay, let me... You sick! Ah! Ah! Eat! Yum, 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 no. Feel better! Frolic away! I don't think she's buying it. Huh. Huh. I mean, nobody likes the taste of medicine. But you know what everybody does love? <gasps> Oatmeal! Where are you keeping them? Oh. Okay, you're gonna like this better. I promise. Okay, enjoy. But you didn't get her to eat the medicine. Not yet. Watch this. Little slingshot action. Nice shot. She's eating it. But she's feeling better already. Yeah. Let's take a couple steps back and give her some space. Yeah, she might be uh, feeling too good. Come on! Ah! Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 That looks like it hurt. Are you okay? Ah, well, you get used to it. Thus ends another adventurous day at T Rex. What do you mean, Edge? You haven't even had a breakfast yet. Hmm. I think I can fix that. <gasps> Where'd you get those? What are we doing here, Park Ranger Andy? This isn't T Rex Ranch. You're right, Park Ranger AJ, it's not. But it's similar. This is Reptacular Ranch, where instead of seeing dinosaurs, we're gonna see snakes! Yes! Reptiles! Cool. And tarantulas! And camels! Wait, are camels even reptiles? I don't know. Hey, what do you think's in a camel's hump? Coffee? I don't know. Let's go find out! Yes! <laughs> wow, this place is amazing! Magical. Do you think there's dinosaurs in those hills? You never know, Park Ranger AJ. You never know. I'm Park Ranger AJ, nice to meet you. And I'm Park Ranger Andy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys, I'm Diego. I'm an animal keeper here at Reptacular Ranch. Thank you guys for joining us today. We're so excited to be here. So what animals are we gonna be seeing today? So today you guys will be seeing a red tegu, uh, Asian water monitor, some California desert tortoises. Uh, you guys will be seeing a tarantula, Ugh. a couple of snakes, and I hear you guys are gonna be meeting Furby the camel. The highlight of my day! Are we gonna see any dinosaurs? So, unfortunately, dinosaurs went extinct a long time ago, but we are gonna get to meet some other descendants. So come on, I'll show you guys around. Great! Thanks. Super exciting! Whoa! Water crossing! I got this. Uh, guys. There is a bridge. We're on an, an adventure! adventure! All right, Rangers, you guys ready to meet your first animal? Sure, sure are! This is the home of Aang, the Asian water monitor. He's a pretty cool lizard. So, without further ado. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, usually it does get that reaction. These guys originate in Southeast Asia. They, in nature, are carnivores out in the wild. But in captivity, this guy eats mice, rats, dog food, and veggies. Sounds like you. Eat anything. True to his name, they are excellent swimmers. 
does love water, and they also have a very long tongue that allows him to sense the world around him. So, do you guys want to take him out for a walk? Yes! You could do that? Of course. Let's get a harness on him and we'll go out for a walk. Let's go! Nice day for a walk. Yeah, with our lizard buddy. Yeah, enjoying it outside? I think that means yes. What kind of dinosaur do you think that looks like? Looks kind of like a Demetrodon. You're right. The Demetrodon's tongue is not that long. True. Where do you think he's going now? I think back. All right, maybe we should see some other animals. Yeah. Let's take him back. This is Red Bull, the Red Tegu. Can I hold him? Of course. All right, here you go. So, Red Tegus originate from Argentina. They are arboreal. He does have short stubby legs because of that. Arboreal, of course, means that they like to live on trees and climb on trees and hang out on trees. Red Tegus are a very popular pet in South America and they are very loyal and gentle. Red Bull here is a male, and the way to tell that a male is a male is because of his cheeks. He does have really puffy cheeks, and he is in fact shedding. It's a common thing among reptiles. How long does it take? It usually takes anywhere from a few days to about two weeks. You guys came in at the tail end of it. <laughs> he is almost done. His skin has been replaced but he does still have some signs that it was happening. How old is he? This guy is about 13 years old, give or take. You're a big guy, aren't you? Older than you. Whoa. But you're gonna look like a 13. Can I hold him? Yeah. Oh, come here, little guy. Yeah. Oh. What are we doing? We're just done for the day? Huh? Just gonna relax? It is lunchtime. Whoa, what animal is that? So this is a Euromastix or a spiky tail lizard. These guys originate from the Middle East. This guy is one of the few animals on this planet that does not need any water. Like, like a, a camel. camel! Well, a camel does still need water. But this guy gets all his hydration from the bugs that he eats. And these guys are also great weather predictors. So, as you guys can see right now, what color would you say that he is? Brown. Right. Fuchsia. He is gray dull. But as summer comes around and as the weather starts to heat up, he will turn very orange. And as fall rolls around after that, he does turn more yellow. Because it gets colder. How'd you know that? And of course, there is his namesake, his main weapon, his spiky tail. They like to defend themselves from much bigger lizards. You're so cool. <laughs> Speak! No, that's a hole. Oh. Right. Yeah. This is a snake. Cool! What kind of snake is that? So this is Chris, our red tail boa. Hi, Tree. And she's doing exactly what her body was made to do. She's holding on to my body as though it were a tree. These are guys are pretty good at climbing. She uh, might start climbing you if you're okay with that. She <laughs> likes you. Uh, uh, why do I get the oh. part with the head? <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna notice she's gonna hold on tight to you, like I said, and she's just pretending your bodies are trees. They're pretty good at holding on. You're gonna feel her muscle curling up around you. I sure um, do. <laughs> Snakes have something called the Jacobson's organ on the roof of their mouth. And that's why they're continuously taking their tongues out to kind of smell their environment. You're also gonna notice she's really loving your bodies. You guys are mammals, you're warm blooded. She doesn't have that privilege and she's cold blooded. So she is dependent on her environment temperature, but you guys are nice and warm. So she's gonna hold on very, very tight. She likes selfies? She loves selfies, she's pretty good at it. Hey, do a scared one. <laughs> Yay, 
So this is Marley, and Marley's are all Bino Burmese python. Uh, pretty young. Uh, these guys can get to be over 200 pounds and over 20 feet. Um, so obviously, it's just me holding. He doesn't have any feet. I know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? You guys want to hold? Yeah. We do? <laughs> Again? Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. Marley, look at that tongue. Look at those eyes. Bye, Marley. Oh, oh that was so fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> what are you going to do next? Oh, how about the tarantula? Uh, what about the turtles? All right, let's go see the turtles. Yeah. <laughs> Turtles! Oh, Actually, they're tortoises. Meet Leonardo and Michael. What's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Uh, turtles are aquatic, tortoises aren't. So you're looking at California desert tortoises. So do they like the heat? They love the heat. Yeah, uh, not too, too hot. It has to be kind of just right. When it gets too, too hot, then they'll go underneath the ground into their little burrows uh, to make sure they escape that heat. Because remember, these guys are cold blooded. They can't keep their own body temperature like these people do. Whoa. You know, speaking of desert creatures. I think we're ready to see Herbie. Perfect, follow me. Hey. How you doing, Herbie? We're going to give him the proper camel greeting. You can't really shake his hand. Um, you know, you don't you typically do this like you greet a dog, right? But if you blow into their nose, he'll blow right back at you. Everything I imagine feels so soft. I would love a pillow at it. <laughs> get in there, I'll get a picture with you. Give me a profile, like him. Hey, Herbie! Hey, Herbie! Smile! What's in the hump? Oh, thank you for asking. Um, it's not water, because everyone thinks it's water, but it's actually not. Oh. Now look at those lips. They're uh, prehensile <laughs> lips, kind of grabbing on to all of those treats. Thank you. You're Bye. very welcome. Bye. Bye, Herbie. What a nice camel. Yeah. So this is Ursula. And Ursula is a Chilean rose hair tarantula. <laughs> Hi, Ursula. <laughs> Just like the name says it, she's from Chile. She's South American. When do you think we should run? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Don't let this deceive you. She can be fast, but she knows that we're not going to hurt her. Now she has about eight eyes and you think with so many eyes she could see really well, but she can't. So their bodies are covered in hair. That's how they sense their environment. So whether it's vibration in the air, vibration on the ground, she's able to sense all of that. Does it have fangs? She does. Let me show you what that looks like. You see all arachnids have venom. It just depends on the potency, of course. Now look, you can see it right there. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So they need that toxic or that venom in order to kind of liquefy whatever they're eating. See, they don't have teeth like we do. Think of it like a bug slurp. So they kind of melt it in their mouth. Exactly. So they kind of slurp that melted juicy bug. Hey, good job, yeah. Park Ranger AJ. Um, Thanks, so Park these guys Ranger. are herbivores. So depending on the species of tarantula, they might eat bugs, they might eat frogs or snakes, smaller mammals. So luckily here, we just feed her a good balanced diet of cockroaches and crickets. Hmm, delicious. <laughs> now, because the interaction is limited, and I know we don't just want to look at her, right? Yeah. We don't? I need a brave volunteer victim. <laughs> Can I uh, put Ursula on top of your head? She's pretty good at posing. Ah! Oh, 
wasn't so bad. Do you want to do it again? No. That was fun. Yeah, that was one of the best days of my life. That tarantula wasn't that bad. Uh, do you want to do it again? <laughs> no, I don't want to do it again. Well, but we should get back to T-Rex Ranch. Yeah, we've got to feed the dinos. Right, we do. And feed ourselves. That's pretty good. I like this idea, Park Ranger AJ. I like this idea. AJ, we're at Dinos Alive in Montebello, Los Angeles. We're inside, there's over 80 animatronic dinosaurs. Let's go compare them to the real dinosaurs at T-Rex Ryan. Great idea, let's go. What do you think VIP means? Very immense predators. Whoa. We're in a jungle. Well, we're not in Montebello anymore. Waterfall. And a cave. Where do you think it leads? I don't know, but it looks scary. Let's go in and find out. Go in? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Me first? Yeah, I've got more life to live. You know what I thought it was going to be? It's dark in here. Let's get our lights out. Good idea. What if the dinosaurs just jump out at us? I thought you said they were animatronic. What if it's a jumping animatronic? Shh. Do you hear that? Oh, I think I see something. Whoa. What is it? It's a Coloradosaurus. From when? The Triassic period. We don't have one of those. But we have one of those. A Stegosaurus. And look at the Metrodon, just like the one back at T-Rex Ranch. Except these dinos are much better behaved than our dinos. You said it. A Planosaurus! What else do they got? Look at this big guy. Whoa! Diplodocus! Wow! It could be a hundred feet long! It's a lot of shoes. Look at the spikes on his back. I guess you can't ride him. Oh, that looks like it would hurt. Look how long the tail is. It's almost as long as the rest of this whole body. An Angliosaurus! Ketrosaurus. It looks kind of like the Angliosaurus. Look at his face. He's got such a kind little face. Dilophosaurus! He's a fancy dinosaur with that fancy collar. You gonna go to a fancy tea party? A fancy tea Rex party. <laughs> anyway, he's terrifying. <laughs> An Allosaurus! Cool. Uh oh. You know they're carnivores, don't you? Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, it's okay, buddy. Oh, we got a couple of these. Look at that beautiful head. Oh, <gasps> there's babies. A Carnotaurus. That what that is? It was a dragon. Would you rather run into him or the T-Rex? I don't know, they're both pretty scary. Uh, just back up slowly. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. That is a scary dino. He looks like a giant alligator. Yeah. From the Cretaceous period. I'm gonna guess he's a herbivore. Oh, he's a carnivore. He's another scary guy. Uh, He's a Paradoix. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. He likes me. Look at these. Pachycephalosaurus. Those heads look good for ramming people. They look like helmets. What would happen if I did that to you? Not a good idea. What's through here? A mighty T-Rex. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. 
So that's it. This is the T-Rex. I remember it being bigger. Yeah, me too. Gigantic. We have one at T-Rex Ranch, but I don't think it's this big. No, but we've never been this close to it. Usually it's very far in the distance. Think it's bigger than a T-Rex? I don't know, let's find out. Larger than T-Rex, Spinosauruses were the largest carnivorous dinosaur. Its name comes from the large fin on its back, which was probably a display feature. Spinosauruses hunted fish along the shore and smaller prey like infant dinosaurs and adult park rangers. Whew. Park rangers? Oh, no, just kidding. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Spinosaurus. Let's go. Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzal 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 Aztec, Aztec feathered, feathered serpent, serpent god. god. But he's not even a serpent. That's false advertising. Well, it's easier to say. Aww, that's a baby. Aww. Baby. Is that dino supposed to come out of this thing? Hello. Is there a dino in there? I give up. Hey, Park Ranger Andy. Yes, Park Ranger AJ. What do you call a dinosaur with rotten eggs? I don't know. What do you call a dinosaur with rotten eggs? Eggs extinct. <laughs> That's a bad joke. Are you done? Almost. Can I go next? No, it's kids only. It's a oh, fun. Oh, what is this place? I don't know, but it sure is magical. Look at all these amazing prehistoric fish. Yeah, let's sell them all at him. There's a big one way up there! You got him! Oh! Got him! Park Ranger Andy, here's how it's done. What are we doing, Park Ranger AJ? Well, Park Ranger Andy, we're drawing dinosaurs, and when we're finished, we can scan them in and they'll pop up up there. Whoa! These are some high-tech dinosaurs. Cool! Where are we? We're in the virtual reality room, where once we put on these magic goggles, we're in a world of virtual dinosaurs. Cool! Whoa! Are you seeing these dinosaurs? Yeah! Wow! What are you doing? Playing fence with the Velociraptor! I got it! I got it! Ah! <laughs> it's like come up to me. Yeah, you throw the bone for it. <laughs> this is creepy. I think I'm on the third level. 
<laughs> this is so much fun. Yeah, it's so lifelike. Are you sure there aren't any real dinosaurs? Oh yeah, this is all virtual. There is absolutely, positively, 100% no real dinosaurs at all. Whoa. <laughs> He's got some dry skin, Park Ranger. You know, it's funny, I was thinking the same thing about you. Wait, but I'm over here. You are? <laughs> it's so hot. Will this heat wave never end? Can we at least go under some shade? Just a few more feet. We can go back inside once we try my new gadget. Uh, I feel like a vampire. I proudly present my latest invention, the Veggie Mixer 6000. Uh, that's not the invention we need. We, we need a fan or an air conditioner or a fan with an air conditioner on it or an air conditioner with a fan in it that blows cold air to an air conditioned fan. Actually, we do need it because now rappers will only eat fried chicken. Yeah, ever since they stole our fried chicken from our last picnic. Can't really blame them though. True, but it's not very good for you, which is why you use the veggie fixer to make them healthy again. Demonstrate. First, you grab your broccoli, place it into here, turn the knob, and then press the button. Voila! Fried chicken! Well, how be? <laughs> oh, smells like broccoli! Well, it looks like fried chicken, which means the raptor will eat it before they knew they had a healthy meal. Uh, even I wouldn't fall for that, and I have the world's record for gullibility. Well, at least that's what they tell me. Ashley, uh, I think you should go back to Dino HQ and watch the baby dinos. I can finish this on my own. Good plan. I am most helpful when I'm not around to help. See you later. Hmm, it does smell like broccoli. <gasps> oh, it's so hot out there. If it gets any hotter, I'm a scream. 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 No! Ice cream! What a brilliant idea! Ice cream. Let's see. Oh, nothing better on a hot day than a good old fashioned bowl of ice cream. Ooh, looks delicious. <laughs> oh, hi, Sneaker. You want some ice cream too? I'm not sure I should give a baby dino ice cream. What would Park Ranger Asher say? Don't give baby dinos ice cream. Yeah, I don't like that answer either. Let me try to imagine it again. Go ahead, give the baby dino ice cream. Ah, that's much better. Hey, that's not what it said. Uh, no time to argue, gotta go ice cream melting. <laughs> okay, Sneaker, let me get you some ice cream. Raptor's approaching the food. He's taking it. No, he's not. He's smelling something else. And he's running away. Gosh, something else caught his attention. Wonder what? This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. Fresh and I'm coming, I'm coming. Almost done. Put the lid on, and put the ice cream back in the freezer. Here we go, a nice bowl of ice cream. Hey, who ate the ice cream? Did you eat the ice cream? No, you couldn't get up there. Huh, is it possible I ate it and I don't remember? Seems possible to me. Hmm. Well, if I ate it and I don't remember, then it doesn't count. Time for more ice cream. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go! And there we went. Oh, 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 look at this. This is a scoop of ice cream. Delicious. It's gonna be so good. I hope I remember eating it this time. Woohoo! Perfect. Put a little spoon in and you know. Could really use some sprinkles. No. Why don't I carry sprinkles on me? Alright, next time. I'll put that on the list. <laughs> and what the? Now I know I did not eat that bowl of ice cream. Did I? Hey, did you eat the ice cream in that bowl? How? I'm in your imagination. Hey, I'm not accusing, I'm just asking. Just get more ice cream. That's the best idea you had all day. At least you're not trying to talk me into eating that broccoli fried chicken like you are those raptors. No, there's no signs of raptors at all. Maybe Park Ranger Andy was right. Maybe it's not too hot to do it today. Where could they possibly be going? <laughs> now I specifically remember not eating that one. We have an ice cream eater around here somewhere. Oh, we we'll be eating all of my ice cream. Can oh. I? For me. Where are you? From your back so soon. Yeah, the raptors wouldn't eat any of my broccoli fried chicken. Probably because it's so hot. It is, but is it hot enough to steal a baby dino's ice cream? What are you talking about? Let me smell your breath. <laughs> Does it smell like ice cream? That's because I didn't have any. Does it make sense? Look, I come over here and I take an empty bowl. And I bring the empty bowl to the freezer. And I take out the ice cream. Put the ice cream down on the counter. And I take the ice cream scoop. And I scoop us some ice cream. Ooh, look at that ice cream. I don't lick the spoon, even though I really want to. Fill up the bowl. And then put the lid back on the ice cream. And I put it back. And now I have my delicious bowl of ice cream, and I walk it over to the table, and look, the ice cream's gone! What? It's just gone? Like that? It's just like that! Who is stealing all our ice cream? I'm not so sure. That means we have to solve this problem scientifically. Does that involve eating ice cream? No, but it does include bait and observing, just like I did with the raptors and my Veggie Fixer 6000. That's not as fun as eating ice cream. Well, first of all, we need more ice cream. Way ahead of you. Hey, ice cream service. That's your service. Hey, hey, thanks a lot, my friend. Good to see ya. You think that's safe? Getting a delivery guy to a secret ranch? Did you see that guy's face? Looked trustworthy to me. If you say so. Now. For step one, set the trap. Step two, hide and watch. Mm, I would love an ice cream sundae. Huh, but today's Friday. So? So if you want ice cream sundae, you gotta wait two more days. How about we just observe in silence? It's an 
like Screamosaurus! That's why they're not even from my invention, because you stuffed them with ice cream. And they didn't even thank me. How many of them you think there are? Let's look. Let's go. Maybe we should just give them ice cream. Maybe you're right. But now we're out of ice cream. Way ahead of ya. Ice cream delivery. Five minutes or it's free. Here you go. Thank you. My pleasure. And by the way, you got a lot of raptors out here. Uh, you trust that delivery guy? He looks honest to me. Now, how about some ice cream? Here you go. Are you sure it's okay to give baby dinos ice cream? Well, if it's okay for raptors, then it's probably okay for a baby pair of sorophis. Eat up. That's it. I'll use the Veggie Feaster 6000, but change broccoli into ice cream. I knew you'd figure it out. Now can we please eat our ice cream? I've been waiting for this all day. Sure. I'm excited for ice cream too. Hey, what about me? Yeah, what about him? And get me some too, please. Park Ranger Asher. Birthday wishes weren't invented back in the prehistoric era, so it is our job to do a birthday celebration for all our dinos that they won't soon forget. Well, at least not until the next ice age. Okay, but this time, let the dino blow out the candle, not you. What have I ever done that? Uh, won't happen again. Park Ranger's honor. There's a birthday brachiosaurus right now. So, how old is he? Oh, he's, uh, 65 million years. Now let's go wish this brach a happy birthday. From all of us at T-Rex Ranger, gonna do a birthday dance. Go, Asher. Go, Asher. Go, Andy. Go, Andy. Go, both of us. Go, both of us. And now, a birthday cupcake. <gasps> Don't blow it out. Let the dino do it. But what if he can't blow out the candle? How is he going to make a birthday wish? Oh, he blew it out. What do you think he wished for? Oh, I bet he wished he was king of the dinos. That's what I'd wish for. I guess we'll never know. Oh yeah, we'll never know. Why do you sound so suspicious? Another successful birthday dino celebration in the books. The next one is tomorrow. You think the pteranodons are like chocolate cupcakes or hazelnut? Definitely hazelnut. I'm almost done with the update on my dino center. Do you want to go test it out? Roar! I mean, yes! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! We can't test the dino translator without any dinos. Anything on the dino tracker? Dino tracker? <laughs> I have something better than a dino tracker. Where did those come from? Rexaburger. It turns out their fries are the perfect dino bait and the perfect Andy bait. Watch. Here, yeah, dino, 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 dinos! Get your fries! Dino, 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 dinos! Are you sure you want to do that? You could have checked the wrong kind of dino. Yeah, but which ones? Like those! What just happened? I don't know, but they sure seem to be in a hurry for some reason. Maybe the dino chief leader knows. Brachiosaurus Rex, run. Huh, that doesn't sound right. Play it back again. Brachiosaurus Rex, run! Ah, Gordon Lady, run! Okay, okay, uh, now, I have a theory, and that is, 
that my theory was correct, that the brachiosaurus wished that he was a T-Rex for his birthday. So, if that's true, how do we fix it? Well, so glad you asked. The only way to reverse a birthday wish is to blow out another birthday candle and make an unwish, which means... That we have to throw another birthday party? Exactly! I'll get the decorations. Oh, and some more fries. Ah, look at that! Perfection! So, where's the birthday guest of honor? Uh, he's about a quarter of a mile behind me. I mean, he may think he's a T-Rex, but he's got the body of a very large, very slow dinosaur. <sighs> there he is! From all of us at T-Rex Ranger, gonna do a birthday dance! Go, Asher! Go, Asher! Go, Andy! Go, Andy! Go, both of us! Go, both of us! And now... A cupcake for you! Oh, he blew out the candle! What do you say? Use a dino translator. Right. Brachiosaurus Rex Rub. We knew that already. Maybe it's stuck. Try turning it on and off again. Translating. I am king of dinos. Get out of my way, you puny humans. That's not good, and we've only got one cupcake left. How do we get him to blow it out and reverse the birthday wish? I don't know, but we gotta get him to want to go back to being a Brachiosaurus. <gasps> but how? T-Rexes love the thrill of a chase, so we'll give him something to hide. Oh yeah, like a timid Triceratops or sickly Stegosaurus. Or a couple of great park rangers. Time for the cupcake, Park Ranger Asher. Well, actually, if the Brachiosaurus thinks it's a T Rex, then it probably won't be interested in a cupcake. I see what you're thinking. Yeah, follow me. Uh, you know, those T Rex treats look delicious. Please don't eat any of them. Oh, I won't. They don't taste as good as they look. Oh. Ooh, doesn't sound happy. This food smells disgusting. I would like a cupcake after all. Archangel Randy, cupcake please. Well, you know about that. Park Ranger Randy? Look, I guess I might have eaten it. But that was from the Pachysaurus. We did all that work for nothing? I know. It's kind of nuts. <gasps> Wait a minute. That gives me an idea. Nuts and berries are specially picked for this hungry and tired plant eater. Brilliant. Now, let's add a candle. Ready? Couldn't be more ready. OK, light the candle. But this time, remember, no more blowing out other dinos' candles. Roger, Park Ranger. Here we go! Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! The 
candle's blown out! I wish I was a Brachiosaurus again. Back to normal! We did it, Park Ranger! Well, it was mostly me, but since you drove the T-Rex one, I guess I'll give you a little credit. Hey, wait a minute, the nuts and berries were my idea. Fair enough. There you are, Park Ranger Asher. Do you know what day this is? Hmm, is it your birthday? No. Wait, is it my birthday? No, it's Dino Appreciation Day. Didn't you get my email? Um, maybe, but I've been busy working on my latest gadget, a levitation device. I call it the Movasaur. Hey, wait a minute. My favorite mug. Oh, oh. You should probably wash it before you drink anything from it. I'm growing a mold colony inside. Okie dokie. Well, anyway, I'm thinking about going to get some party supplies. I want to get pizza and some balloons and pizza. Oh, and maybe a generator to power some party lights. Sound good? You bet. I'm going to be back before you can say Snaggletooth Stegosaurus. Snaggletooth Stegosaurus. Okay, well, maybe not that fast, but I'll be back. Ready? Yeah, let's test this out. I did it! And I made a flying triceratops! Now, let's try something heavier. The source is blocking the whole road! Ain't no way I'm getting caught! Mr. Allosaurus, time to get up! Wakey, wakey! Hmm. Allosaurus. Oh, I got a snorus! <laughs> Oh wait, I have an idea. Oh. 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 Allosaurus is a giant T-Rex, and if you don't wake up, I'm gonna eat ya! Ah. Ah. That didn't work! Ah. I have another idea. <laughs> this horn will get Oh, I give up. Let's go, Park Ranger Asher. You don't know what to do. Park Ranger Asher, this is Park Ranger Andy. You read? You're in for it. More like Allosaurus. Hey, that's what I said. <laughs> well, look, it's still funny. Hey, how about we use your gadget to move the Allosaurus? The Movasaur? Sure, we can try it. It's working! It's 
working! Oh no! Oh, it's not working! The Rufusaur needs more power. I'm gonna have to think of something else. Well, I mean, I could push the Allosaurus out of the way. After all, I am pretty strong. <laughs> nice try, but the Allosaurus weighs over 6,000 pounds. Oh, this stinks! A dinosaur ruined Dino Appreciation Day? I could practically smell the pizza getting cold. Wait, that's it! We can use the food to wake up the Allosaurus! He has an excellent sense of smell. But then we won't have any pizza left for the celebration! And then what's the point of Dino Appreciation Day? Sorry, Park Ranger. We have to sacrifice the pizza. It's the only way. Fine. Let's do it. So, what's the plan? And does it involve us eating this pizza? No. We're going to place the pizza down, hide in the T-Rex 1, and wait for the Alistairs to wake up. Okay, but I like my plan better. Are you going to eat all that by yourself? <gasps> okay, okay, look, I don't blame you. No! Well, I mean, I went and then he went and then. Oh, oh, I never mind. Look, he went right back to block of the road, right where we began. Aww, all for nothing. And now we don't even have any pizza. What are we gonna do? Now, if I connect the move to the generator, it might have enough power to move the Allosaurus out of the room. Let's give it a go. It's charging! Perfect! Now we just sit back and wait for it to get done. What was that? I don't know. Look, it's a ran out of carbon and balloons! Why would it do that? Look, it's waking a dino! Park Ranger Asher, how's that charge coming? Just one minute, it's almost done! Oh, I don't think we'll have a minute! Almost there! <laughs> I don't think we'll get in on Dumb Appreciation Day! It's ready! Or is that a dinosaur shaped cloud? It worked! I can't believe it! Hey! Great job! But what happens when you drop them back down? Good question. By the way, I kind of owe you a new coffee mug. What did you do? Sorry. 
You better put coffee in it. And no mold colonies. Mmm, mold colonies. Being a park ranger at T-Rex Ranch is no joke. We have big dinosaurs and small dinosaurs. We have meat-eating dinosaurs and plant-eating dinosaurs. No, we have dinosaurs that like to play games and dinosaurs that don't like to play games. I call them dinosaur losers. <laughs> but I'm here to teach you everything you need to know, Park Ranger Rosie. I'm so excited. Do you think I'll meet a T-Rex today? Oh, you might. And my job is to teach you everything you need to know in case that very scary situation should arise. Now, step one of Park Ranger orientation is to read the Park Ranger handbook. Got it. So let's see what this handbook has to say. It says, don't read this handbook. Listen to Park Ranger Andy. Well, if that's what the book says, that's what the book says. Now, instead of reading some boring old book, we're going to do something fun. Gadgets. Whoa! Do you know what all these gadgets do? Well, of course. They don't just let any old park ranger teach park ranger orientation. What's this one do? Well, that one is, uh... I mean, it's, uh... I have no idea. Let's try it. Whoa! It's a portal blaster. Where do you think the portal goes? Uh, good question. Park Ranger Andy, it felt like going into a swimming pool, but not wet. Ah, Park Ranger Rosie, come back! This is awesome! I'm on another side of a ranch! You gotta try it, Park Ranger Andy. Oh, no way! There is no way I'm jumping through some swirly, non-wet pool portal thingy! Oh, yes, you are! Whoa! Herbivore Valley! But that's miles from the picnic area! What a convenient way to travel! I think this blaster will take us anywhere on the ramp. It's hard to tell exactly where. My right, this portal will take us to Fossil Forest! Well, let's find out! Fossil Forest! You did it, Park Ranger Rosie! But now we really should get back to home base. I still have a lot to teach you, and my favorite part of the orientation is still coming up. What's that? Lunch! Okay, setting a course for the picnic tables. Uh, Park Ranger Rosie, this isn't the picnic area. I know what happened. I set it to the right coordinates. Maybe it's broken. Uh-oh. Don't worry, Park Ranger Andy. We'll get back in time for lunch. We better, or we're going to be somebody's lunch. What do you do? We got to find a place to hide. Why is she chasing us? I don't know. Maybe it's because I forgot her birthday. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, I remembered four days later, but then it was kind of awkward to say something, you know? Let's hide behind that tree. out here all day. I'm a pretty good teacher, aren't I? No, don't answer that! Ah! Use your portal blast and send us back to home base! But what if it doesn't work? Uh, anywhere is better than here! Good point! Park uh, uh. Ranger Rosie! Oh no! I saw Park Ranger Rosie was right behind me! I lost Park Ranger Rosie on her first day! Be 
This is definitely not right. But why are we you, Rosie? Oh, I know. Alexa! Yoo-hoo! Alexa! Show me Park Ranger Rosie's location. What's this? Park Ranger Rosie? It's not connected to the T-Rex Ranch Network? We're connected to Alexa is step four of the Park Ranger orientation! <gasps> Beginning to think I shouldn't have skipped the boring parts. That's weird. Why isn't the portal blaster blasting portals? Where are all these portals coming from? <gasps> Park Ranger Rosie must be sitting up from the other side. I'm coming for you, Rosie! That worked. Well, I knew that book would come in handy sooner or later. Focus, what do you gotta do? Oh yeah, I gotta find Park Ranger Rosie! Inverted portal switch. So when you find yourself in an upside down, inverted, or backward situation. I think that's me. Flip on the switch. Here goes nothing. Yes! Yes! I'm back! Now, all I have to do is portal back to home base and meet up with Park Ranger Andy! Oh, come on, Portal Blaster! What did I ever do to you? Ah! How am I gonna get back without the Portal Blaster? Think, Rosie, think! I got it! If I can identify what type of dinosaur is making all that noise, then I can figure out where I am on the map and get back to home base. I just hope it's not a dinosaur that likes to eat kids. Three horns, strony fro, and loves to munch on leaves. Definitely a triceratops, which means it must be in before Valley, and home base must be that way. The park ranger I turned out to be. Not worthy to wear the vest with this neckerchief. In fact, I'm not worthy to wear this park ranger outfit at all. Sure you are, Park Ranger Andy. No. Park Ranger Rosie, where did you? How? I did I, I, I looked everywhere for you. I had a little help from the Park Ranger handbook. And while I was waiting for you, I added some new pages on the Portal Blaster. Tricky little gadget. Huh, well I'll be. I guess that the boring parts of training are just as important as the fun parts. You know, I'm gonna do things the official way next time. Well, in that case, can we start my orientation over? Say no more. Welcome to your first day as a T-Rex Ranch Park Ranger. Step one of your orientation is to read the handbook. 
Speaking of, where did I leave my handbook? Okay, Rosie, time to test yourself and see if you have the Park Ranger Pledge fully memorized. <laughs> On my honor, I will do my best to one, always seek out adventure, two, never stop inventing, three, always keep exploring, and four. Oh yeah, four, never give up. Gosh, I'm good. <gasps> oh. Park Ranger Andy, what happened? <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, Park Ranger Rosie, you won't believe the morning I had. Which I will describe to you in detail after these messages. So here's what happened. I was out doing my post first breakfast gardening when all of a sudden, a big gust of wind blew a piece of paper right in my kisser. It seemed to be a map of T-Rex Ranch, leading to a buried treasure. I followed the map with perfect precision, using my considerable navigational skills and my expert knowledge of the park and its subtle landmarks to forge the most efficient and direct path to the treasure. If you saw me out there, you probably would have thought I looked graceful and strong, like an Allosaurus on a hunt. This map was a tricky one, full of riddles and visual puzzles. But using my powers of deductive reasoning that I've learned in all my years as a park ranger, I discovered the secret way of reading this map. And then I found the hidden cave. Hello? I ran some tests to determine the depths of the cave. Now, being the brave park ranger that I am, I wasn't at all nervous about exploring the dark, empty cave all by myself. Not at all. After exploring for hours and moving impossibly large boulders, I remembered that I had already found this treasure a few months back. Oh. It had been left there by T-Rex Ranch Rangers years ago. So it turns out I was looking for a treasure that I had already found. <laughs> Silly old me. Hang on, what did you find? Nothing, just a big old empty cave with a big old lady at the end of it. No, I mean the treasure you found months ago. What was it? Oh, let me introduce you to the Boom Boom Whistle. The Boom Boom Whistle? Oh yeah, it comes in very handy when you're being chased by a dinosaur. You see, you turn around and you blow the whistle and then the dino immediately has to stop and go poop. Ew. Tell me about it. But wait, what do you mean Park Rangers left the whistle there years and years ago? Oh, well, for as long as T-Rex Ranch has been around, park rangers have buried treasure for future rangers to find. It's a T-Rex Ranch tradition. Really? Like what kind of stuff? Oh, sometimes a gadget or a a dino toy or ancient relic from the past. But that doesn't explain why you're all dirty, covered in twigs and leaves. Oh yeah, well, that's the second part of the story. While I was making my way back to dino headquarters, I was so exhausted from all that exploring that I accidentally wandered into the raptor trails. Oh yes, the raptor trails. I was hoping he wouldn't see me as I was using my expert camouflage skills. But then my alarm went off reminding me to feed the baby dinos. It alerted the raptors. They looked up. They looked at me. They zeroed in on me. They came running towards me. I knew my goose was cooked. They lunged from the left. They lunged from the right. And I don't even want to have lunch together. They wanted to eat me for lunch. I spotted some bushes. And I ran. And I dove just in the nick of time. And the raptors ran right past me. And I waited and waited until a coast was finally clear. And thus ends the extraordinary story of how I got dirt on my face and more twigs in my hair than usual. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go wash the dirt off my face, remove said hair twigs, and so for now, I bid you adieu. Maybe I should bury a treasure for future park rangers to find. 
time to pack this treasure chest full of super cool stuff. First, a handwritten note reminding Future Park Rangers just how awesome it is to be part of a small secret group of people who know dinosaurs still exist. Next, a spare monkey talkie gadget that can make Future Park Rangers sound like anyone they want. I love Brexit burgers so much! That's why I eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I even eat them for meals between the meals. Brunch, dinner, and then fast. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what else I should put in. Buy 100 Rexa burgers, get one free? Psh, that's crazy! No one in their right mind would eat a hundred burgers just to get one free. This is going to chest. And now, it's time to bury my treasure. Hmm. Can't bury it near the picnic tables. Too many park rangers around. Gigantosaurus Gulch is nice and secluded. Seems like a great place to bury treasure. <laughs> Gigantosaurus, but I think that means I should find another place for my treasure. Bye! Stegosaurus Mountain. Perfect. Whoever wants my treasure will have to climb to one of the tallest peaks in T-Rex Ranch to find it. Time to dig! What in the wide world of dinos could that be? A dog toy? Wasn't that the best place to bury a treasure? Gosh, this is way harder than I thought. Maybe I should give up. No! What am I saying? Number four on the Park Ranger Pledge. Never give up. Time to keep searching. Even if I am getting a little tired. This is it! The perfect place to bury treasure! Even I don't know where I am. Oh well! Time to start digging! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Water. I need water. <sighs> Much better. Park Ranger Andy, what are you looking for? I'm looking for my buy 100 Rex of burgers, get one free punch card. I only had one burger left. Um, I have some good news and some bad news. Actually, scratch that. Just bad news. I might have put your Rex Burger punch card in a treasure chest and buried it. Okay. Okay, but... Uh, uh, but, but... 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 I had eaten all those burgers! And it took me almost two whole days to do it! Oh. I'm so sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I just thought it'd be a nice surprise for future Park Rangers. But... I know just where I buried it, so we'll go and get it back now. Really? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. <sighs> so, more good news, bad news. Actually, scratch that. Just bad news. I forgot where I buried the treasure. <laughs> Sounds like something I would do. I was so tired from trying to find the perfect place to bury it that I forgot to make a map. I'm sorry, Park Ranger Andy. We're probably never going to find a Rexa Burger punch card. Aw, oh, don't beat yourself up, Park Ranger Rosie. It's got to be around here somewhere, and we are going to sniff it out. Oh, yeah. I am highly motivated. Hey, yeah, you're probably right. Let's go find that treasure. Let's go. Thank you. 
I think this is it. Let's rush back to dirt over here. All right, let's get digging. I hit something. <gasps> we found it. <gasps> oh. Oh, my sweet, sweet punch card! How oh, I miss you so much! <laughs> I'm sorry, Park Ranger Andy. I won't take your stuff without asking ever again. Oh, it's okay, Park Ranger Rosie. In fact, I think it's high time I put this punch card to good use. Really? Absolutes! How about you and me make our way down to Rex a Burger and I buy my 100th burger, which makes Burger 101 for you, not me. But you worked so hard for that free burger. After the day we had, I think we both deserve a burger. Maybe two. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing like a juicy Rexa burger at the end of a very long, long day. You can say that again. I think we wandered into the raptor trails again. Or that raptor just smells our delicious burgers and wants them for himself. Okay, that leaves us two options. One, we eat our burgers real quick and then run. Or two, we just run. I prefer option one, but I don't want to influence your decision. Actually, there's a third option. <gasps> Good idea, Park Ranger. <laughs> Ew. I don't think I'm so hungry for my Rexa burger anymore. No, oh, that's a shame. I'll take care of that for you. And uh, let's walk around, huh? Whee! Hey, Park Ranger. What's all this? Park Ranger Asher, come check it out. I found this trunk in a basement filled with all these interesting knickknacks. Like this old dusty notebook. <laughs> <coughs> Too bad there's no way we would ever know who it would belong to. This notebook belongs to Park Ranger Andy. Oh, wait, Park Ranger Andy? But that's me. I don't remember ever owning that notebook or any of this stuff. <gasps> I bet it belonged to the very first T-Rex Ranch Park Ranger. My great, great, great grandpa Andy. Wow, he must have been pretty great. Yeah, it was okay. Oh, look, he wrote a letter. The Future Park Rangers. <gasps> That's us. Dear Future Park Rangers, I am writing from the year 1862, where I have just buried what I am calling a time capsule somewhere in T-Rex Ranch. This time capsule contains one very important item that can only be used by park rangers. In order to find it, I have devised what I am calling a scavenger hunt with clues that will lead you to the capsule and all the wonder contained therein. Good luck and happy hunting. Wow! 1862, that's almost... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. 160 years ago. 160 years? That's almost a million. Hmm. I wonder if the time capsule is still there. Well, there is only one way to find out. Scavenger hunt! Backpacks? She yeah. Shovels? She yeah. Dino freeze ray? Uh, dino freeze ray? We're just going on a full little scavenger hunt, no? Well, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Good point. Go to the place where the winged dino sleep and try not to make a peep. Hmm. Those titles weren't classified back in Grandpa Andy's age. Tyrannodon? Maybe. Or the Tannosaurids. Their name means winged lizard. 
That's some good thinking, Park Ranger. I hope I'm as smart as you when I grow up. Now let's go find us a time capsule. Wait. You need drive. Oh, okay. You say so. Well, looks like we found a Patinosaurus. This is this is this. So now what? I mean, if only we had some kind of marker. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, what do you know? It's time to start digging. <gasps> I had something already. Oh, oh. this is good. Oh, got it. Oh, this is pretty simple. Look at it. I think I got something. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, pieces here. Oh, wow. Don't make me beg. Go to the place where the spiny lizards lay their eggs. Well, we know what that means. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course we do. You don't know, do you? I do, I do. Spikes on the way! Gardens! <laughs> Let's just go. I knew it! I think you mean X marks the spot. Uh, that's what I said. Just be careful, because if a Spinosaurus sees us, we're goners. So we're going to have to move very slowly. Very slowly. Got it. Okay, not that slowly. Okay. Ah! Oh! 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 Yeah! Oh! Yeah! I think I found something. Nice work, Park Ranger. Oh! Faster! Hang on, Baldy! Oh, hold on! Oh, I got something! I got something! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Park Ranger Andy does it again. Are you sure you read the third clue correctly? Go where the running lizard hunt for food and hope against hope that they're in a good mood. That's a wrap for right? But what do we do now? I don't know. Great, great, great grandpa Andy was great at many things, but my includes was not one of them. <gasps> Wait a minute. Look, where the raptors were. There it is. Grab the shovels. Ooh, here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, that second thought, why don't we just go back to Dino Headquarters where it's, you know, safe and quiet? I mean, after all, I don't need no dusty old time capsule, do you? Well, it's not about the time capsule anymore, because if we don't complete the mission, then who will? You know what? You're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you're always right. Right? Let's do it. Oh, things are looking up. Yeah. Ah, oh. <laughs> I got you now. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Told ya. Huh. You did good, Park Ranger. You did good.
Okie dokie, here we go. What to do? The time capsule is located 200 paces beyond Dino HQ. Oh, are you kidding? After everything we went through today, it was right behind Dino headquarters the entire time? Oh. I'm beginning to think your great, great, great grandpa was in all that great. You could say that again. After all, how many times today were we put in hands way? I think it's harm's way. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's hands way. After all, pigs are very brave. What? 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. Shovel, please. Dig, dig, faster. Dig, dig, keep digging. Found it. Help me, help me. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What we find? What we find? It looks like a dino remote control. Well, what's it do? 1862. Present day. <gasps> I think it's a time machine. Wait a minute. What if it's not? What if it's something really, really bad, like something that drops a brachiosaurus down from the sky on us or something? This is a time machine. Huh. Nope. Well, proceed. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Diggity, where am I? Oh, hello, handsome. You look awfully familiar. Well, I should. I'm your great, great, great grandson, Andy. And this is my associate, Park Ranger Asher. A pleasure to meet you. That must mean you discovered my time machine. We sure did. Oh, well, I'm glad to see that it still works. May I take a look, see? <gasps> Not bad for an antique, eh? I built this time machine in order to bring dinosaurs from the past and study them in our present. And that is how T-Rex Ranch began. We had no idea. But we have so much to talk about. Yeah, and you should come see all the new gadgets we've invented. I would be delighted. Uh, uh, I'm going to take what I'd like to call a rain check. Got to go. They left us with all kinds of questions. Oh, You know what? He left me with a brand new hat, too. A brand new old hat. Let's look. Oh! <laughs> By Jimmy Jank! That was close. Oh! <laughs> Oh, bad. Hey, Park Ranger Andy. Trid. I'm not a trash can. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, Park Ranger Asher. I guess my aim is off. But so are my ideas. What are you working on? I'm trying to come up with this year's famous T-Rex Ranch skills course. But it just can't be any old skills course. It's got to be the greatest skills course ever. To make up for last year's, you know, incident. <laughs> Turns out, make a dinosaur laugh is a little too challenging. So this year, I have to redeem myself. Wait, can I help? This is the only time I can earn the skills course builder achievement badge. And, you know, it's the rarest badge of all. That's because building a skills course is so much harder than it looks. Well, I have so many ideas, like something with bubbles. Bubbles? Yeah, dinosaurs love bubbles. They do? Huh, well, I'll think about it, but you gotta think bigger. This year's gotta be the biggest and best skills course ever, or I'm not fit to wear this uniform. That really doesn't fit. Hmm, you know, I'm sorry, Park Ranger. I think I have to do this alone. Wait. How about a competition where we both try and come up with a course? And then whoever wins truly earns the skills course builder badge. Does that mean that could be me? The recipient of an extremely rare skills course builder achievement badge? <gasps> I do like the sound of that. Okay, you got yourself a deal, buddy boy. 
Now, somebody should really clean this place up. What a great idea. And another one. I have so many amazing ideas. Aw, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go for a walk. Yeah, maybe that'll spark the old inspiration station. Good luck. Luck? <laughs> I don't need luck. Once the ideas get flowing, I will be back in two, no, in one hour. Doesn't seem like much time, but sure, I guess I'll meet you in an hour to pick the winner. Wait, really? Uh, uh okay then. One hour. Be in my big mouth. Okay, see you in an hour. <laughs> and he has another one. There's gotta be something around here to inspire me. Something like, like those trees. <gasps> or the beautiful sky. <gasps> or dirt. Dirt? Dirt's not an idea. Oh, come on. Now look at that. Look how beautiful those creatures are. Sometimes I just need to stop really reflect on them. these gorgeous animals. Kind of makes me want to sing. Oh, this must be what inspiration feels like. Oh, this must be what I've been searching for. Oh, you're not supposed to be in this part of the ranch. Please, please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Hey, you like my singing. Oh, I mean, uh, you like my singing. You like my singing. You like, you like, you like, you like my singing. La 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 Skills course, skills course. Why can't I come up with the skills course? Yeah, hi. Ah! <laughs> well, maybe if I didn't have to sing to you, then I could come up with something. Oh, yeah. So basically, 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 it's your fault, your fault, your fault, your fault, la, 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 your fault. Oh, curse my beautiful voice. Done. My ideas are small, but I think it's enough to win the skills course builder patch. Time's almost up. Park Ranger Andy, wherever you are. Almost out of time, all alone, all alone. Why don't you leave and go back home? Go back home. I want. You know what? No. I am done. I am done singing for you. I have a skills course to create and a build a batch to earn. So no more singing, no matter what the consequences are. <laughs> if only I could come up with an idea to get an angry pack of raptors on my back. Wait a minute. That's it. That's my big idea. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, Park Ranger Usher, I am so happy to see you and not one of those raptors. Okay. Want to see my skills course? Oh, you bet. I am ready for the big reveal. Okay, the obstacles may look easy, but the difficulty level is high. Let's see. Turn around. Whoa! Wow! Look at this. Wow! I mean, how? All this in one hour? And I only just came up with one big idea. I guess you won. Hmm. My course only has small obstacles, so it would be a lot better with one big exciting obstacle at the end. Like mine? Yeah. Maybe we combine our ideas and make the greatest skills course of all time. I would be honored. <laughs> okay, on your mark. 
Get set. Go. Impressive. I can't do that with my eyes open. And go. Okay, go! Gotcha! Great job! Now that's one. You got three more to get. That doesn't count. You have to get the dynasty past the orange cones. Source, Dimetrodon, uh, 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 Tyrannodon, uh, Gigantosaurus, and uh, Spinosaurus! <laughs> All right! A bit. <laughs> come on, come on, the clock is ticking, the clock is ticking! Which dinosaur has a large brain and long claws for tailing their prey? Raptors! Okay, no! No! T-Rex, there you go! No! Oh yeah! Raptor! Here we go! <gasps> Candy! Oh no, wait! No time! I gotta win! Okay, Park Ranger, are you ready for the exciting and extremely dangerous finale, the Raptor Roundup? Did you say extremely dangerous? Well, yeah! Potentially extremely dangerous! But that's why we're doing this as the first ever Team Skills Course Challenge. Are you ready, Park Ranger? As I'll ever be. <coughs> Here we go. Me, 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 me. Hey there, Raptors. Come along with me. Let's go back to your home where you're supposed to be. La, 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 la. Let's go back. Bum, bum, bum. And here we are, right out of songs to sing. This better work, Park Ranger, I should do your thing. Pull the bubbles, pull the bubbles, pull the bubbles. Uh, I better move faster. Those doctors look really angry. <laughs> Look, you did it! And in record time! I mean, no one's ever done this before, but it's still a record. We better get out of here before they come looking for more bubbles! Good idea! Here we go, the skills course builder bag, sir. And one for you, sir. Thank you, sir. Looks pretty good if I do say so myself. And now for the final challenge of the day. Who could earn the billion bubble badge? 